today's project. Mass airflow sensor, right here. Not only this, but it's connector too. This is a problem with these ones, apparently. Let's see in there. Yeah, how corroded that is. So, we got some brand new ones. New sensor, new connector. Everything you need, connectors, except for solder, iron, all that stuff, but I've got that. We got a heat shrink, we got the solid connectors to solder too. It's pretty cool that they added all that. Appreciate that. It also comes already pre-greased. I don't know if you can see that. Yep. But always smart anyways. Got some of my own little bit of grease. I'm gonna add some more, goop it up. That's the soldering stuff. See? Quick, simple, easy. Alright. Next one will be it completed. Uh, pray. Well, the easy part's done. <laughs> Alright, so now before I cut this one, I want to label them. So I color coded them in order. So just nice and easy right before I snip them. Make it easy. Let's update before I do the uh, part. Hmm. Oh. Safety first. When working with electrical in vehicles, always remember to disconnect the negative wire on the battery. Even with something as mundane as a sensor rewire. Make sure that is disconnected. You don't want the shock of your life. Not the greatest or a professional in any way, shape, or form, but I can still do a little bit of soldering correctly. All right. All right. This next part is the part I've been dreading all day long. Or not all day, excuse me, for the last 20 minutes while doing everything. I was prepping everything else. The soldering, the, uh, oh, the labeling. So now all I got to do is cut tip connect solder and done well I need to put on the uh, shrink wrap and or the heat shrink too but the part I've been dreading is here so here we go pray for me oh no it's been decapitated oh they've been cleaned and cut and we're getting ready to connect. Here it goes. Green to green. So I made one mistake. It's okay, it's not gonna affect anything, but I forgot to put the heat shrink tubing on before I made the connection. So with these first two connections, after I solder and let them cool down, I'm gonna have to just electrical tape around them. That's gonna have to be the old school way. Oops, but that's okay. So let's get these ones done, soldered up. And on to the all next. Alright, we got black to black. Next is blue to blue. Here we go. Alright, we got them all connected up. Now it's time to solder. Stand by. Alright, so here we are at the fun part. I had to find a place to be able to hold my tank so I can solder it. But I was going to do this one in a, so you guys can watch me do this. I'm going to do it right there. Alright, so here we go. All right, got them all soldered up. See right here, we got green to green, red to red, black to black, blue to blue. And now I taped them each individually. I put the two that I got with heat shrinks over them and I'm gonna retape these two with black tape over the top of them. And then I'm gonna take all four of them and just bring them together. Oh, and then just kind of rewrap all the way up how it was all right all next right one. I'm quite proud of myself if I do have to say now I hope this works so let's get this 
all plugged in. I gotta get some, some more. I'm gonna put some more grease on that. That's the uh, grease that came with it before I plug it into the, to the sensor. That was the easy one. <laughs> all right, so. It's all, all connected. Go. All right, check it out. Check engine light is turned off. My engine's still running. 